Hello everyone, we are doing the numerology and the astrology for 12, 29, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 18. Um, if you add the 1 and the 8 together, you get the number 9. The number 9, the number of completion, the number of, you know, moving towards new beginnings, the number of intuition and mysticism and magic. So, we are finishing up in 2020. Here we go. I can't wait. What a year for all of us to celebrate the ending of. We are here to celebrate the year that was. A lot of things. And we probably cannot say right, right here and now what those things were, but I'm sure everyone has a few special ideas. Regardless, it is going to be one for the record books in audacity, insanity, delusion, and collusion. And it is finally almost over. Hope springs forth from a vaccine finally spreading its good cheer for those that deserve the biggest accommodations, which are the healthcare workers. Yay! And the elderly. Woo, 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 woo. It will be wonderful to know that my 84-year-old mother will, show, slow, will shortly be in a safer place so she can do the few things that give her life meaning. Personally, I am completing, shifting my bookkeeping um, from my dear friend that is retiring, which is good for her, to QuickBooks Online. So this last few weeks, I am doing the integration process so that that can happen smoothly starting in 2021. I give a shout out to the technology people and the customer support people who have had to do a lot of work because of all of us needing massive upgrades just to do our work and keep our jobs. They deserve an A++ in keeping it together personally and professionally. And because of them, we have survived. We have managed to thrive. And now we are on the brink of a new and progressive technology age of change. While it is going to be a lot for each of us, it is necessary and essential as we move forward in a world that desperately needs us to pay attention to the natural world. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to those signs. Remember that those to whom much is given, much is also expected. The astrology today. There is a full moon in the Cancer Capricorn swing. And this is where we rebalance our home and family needs with our worldly needs. Sounds like it's time to clean up all those Christmas decorations. Awareness may seem heightened and a nostalgic feeling can come in about the past, things lost in 2020, and missed opportunities. Feelings for family, nurturing, and needing safety are really strong. The planet of intimacy, Venus, is challenging the unconditionally loving planet, Neptune, and both are tied to the spiritual destiny lunar nodes. It is time to open up and have meaningful conversations about relationships. It is time to revise old ideas about where many things and priorities are going in the dramatically changing energies of 2021 and the years ahead. Venus semi-squares Jupiter in the morning and you may feel restless with what is needed to be accomplished today. And with those things in your space, just remember, stay calm and stay kind. Go slow if needed. Do your best to not overspend right now because impulse control is going to be lacking. Honor the past, but do not idealize it either. You may feel as though life is trying to overpower you. Just take one thing at a time. It is the end of the year and a lot of things need to be finalized. What is clear is shake off another layer of old paradigms in how we used to do business, personal and family relationships. We are not going back, and the way ahead is completely new and uncharted territory. Mars continues to challenge Pluto, so don't try to force changes before they are ready. Regardless of how much resistance we may encounter internally, know that all of us are going to have to change. Perhaps think of the approach differently. How about assertive diplomacy as the new label? We cannot be doormats, but we need to learn how to have discourse with respect. My quote for today, you can do it, take in that breath, Whew. we can relax and be your best. With the cold and darkened days, there is hope within the haze, 
there can be more than ever before. We are a story just like the great folklore. And my blog for today. I have at least started the painting process. I am deep into the book my sister sent me to get informed and a bit more educated about the process of painting, what to look for, how to organize, how to mix the paints, how to set up an easel, etc. It still feels overwhelming and a bit daunting, but the more information I have, the more it feels less like a total unknown. I want to just get to the painting part, but there is a lot of prep that is necessary first, and I am slowly putting the pieces together. Needless to say, there is an excitement in the air, but I think it has to do with releasing 2020 and re embracing the unknown of 2021. In this case, the new and unknown is better than the past known. Never has there been such anticipation for the world to move forward. Never has there been such joy at embracing progression. Never has the fear been greater about repeating the horrors of 2020 than just about anything the universe could throw at us. I feel the breath of life returning and I can feel how so many really want to take in this next phase of life. Appreciation does not cover it. Relief does not express the depth of rising. And even with all that, there is that knowing that there is a long road ahead, but at least it is a road where you can get somewhere, not a road that leads back into dysfunctional pasts and not a road that is looping like a circle. Thanks everyone.